to Wailusing Public Library's Fairy Garden Storytime. Today I have my son Levi with me. He's helping. Miss Flora's going to join us in a little bit for our, the most favorite part of our videos. Right, Miss Flora? Sure. Yay! Our dance. Levi. So, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, honey. So we're going to, I'm going to be doing knock knock, a knock a couple of knock knock jokes and it is called pup riffic puppy riddles puppy riddles What would you get? Uh, is it tricky? Muddly. A muddly. A, a, a muddle. Say that muddle. ten times fast. Muddle, 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 muddle. Can you do it? Go ahead. No. Go ahead. I can't. <laughs> All right. Let's start with. Oh, how about one more, and then we'll do a do a story. What one am I going to be doing? Okay, so what? Where do you take a sick pup? I don't know where. To the doctor. To the dog tour. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. All right, what 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 garden book are we going to be reading? We're going to be reading the in the garden who's who's been here. Okay, good job. And this is by Lindsay Barrett George. <clears throat> It is lightly drizzling on this summer morning. Christina, please take Jeremy into the garden and pick some vegetables. I'm still baking. But mom, it's raining. Don't worry, you won't melt, Christina's mother said. And please put Sonny outside. I think Sonny's the dog. Yeah. Christina and her brother take a bucket out of the tool shed and walk over to the garden. Something brown streaks across the yard. Christina, a bunny. Jeremy whispers, pointing towards the garden gate. They're cute, Jeremy, but bunnies eat anything that's, that's green, green in the garden. Like that big... The beanstalk behind the camera? Yeah. <laughs> in a few minutes, it stops drizzling. Raindrops cling to the poppies. A visitor darts from blossom to blossom, sucking nectar from the flowers. Christina looks down into a large sunflower. Something's been eating the seeds, so the middle of this in the middle of the sunflower. I wonder, hmm, who's been here? A chipmunk. Christina walks down a row of tomato plants. This one looks good, bending to pick a tomato. Sunny looks at it too. I'll pick you another one, Sonny. This is for Mom, she says. Christina, Jeremy says, looking closely at a tomato plant. Part of this leaf is gone. Who's been here? A tomato hornworm. I actually, I've seen these before, but I've never known what they were called. The hornworms. <clears throat> Jeremy picks some lettuce. Somebody's already had dinner, Christina says, standing over some nibbled greens. I know who was hungry, Jeremy says. Who's been here? Hmm. Hmm. A cottontail rabbit. rabbit. 
Christina crouches down and picks a large cucumber from the patch. Hey, Sonny, don't step on the cucumbers, Christina says. Jeremy, come over here and look at this leaf. Her brother runs his finger along the shiny line. The line stops in the middle of the leaf. It's slimy, he says. Who's been here? <clears throat> a slug. Ooh, they are very slimy. They pick some ears of corn and drop them into the bucket. Christina, Jeremy says, I see a brown and yellow snake. Leave it alone, Jeremy. It's probably a garter. And they're not very friendly. Christina does not notice that the husks on an ear of corn have been shredded. Inside, the insides of some of the kernels have been pecked out. Who's been here? A crow. Jeremy reaches up and snaps beans off their vines. These are sweet. As Christina helps him gather beans, she wonders out loud, Look at this empty space. What happened to the plants? Who's been here? A deer mouse. <clears throat> Does it look like a deer? Stop moving, please. No. No, not really. I'm hungry, Christina says. And she sits down in the garden. Let's eat this carrot, Jeremy says. Look at that carrot top, Christina says. Someone cut it, her brother says. It hasn't been cut off, Christina realizes. It's been chewed off. Who's been here? A woodchuck. Jeremy, I think we have enough vegetables for two dinners, Christina says. The children pick hollyhocks for their mother. Christina, Jeremy whispers and points to a hole in the ground. Who's been here? <clears throat> a mole! A mole! <clears throat> and what did you, what were you telling me earlier about moles? Uh, they only sniff where they're going. They don't see because they don't have no eyes. They only sniff. Hmm, very cool. Fun little fact. Jeremy and his sister walk back to the house with a bucket filled with vegetables and flowers. Race you, Sonny, Jeremy yells. Watch me, Jeremy. I can do a headstand. Jeremy stops at the peach tree. Someone has left three plates and a pitcher of milk on the table. Sonny wags his tail. Jeremy looks around and wonders, who's been here? Who was it, Levi? The mom! Mother! The mother! <clears throat> the the end. end! That was a good story. Let me grab my water quick. You, want, you can do another joke. <clears throat> huh. Perfect. Have a seat. <clears throat> uh, yep, so this is the part that you read, mm -hmm. and then... I say this part. That's a little different. <coughs> so you say knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Alfreda. Alfreda? Alfreda who? Alfreda you. Alfreda the dark. <laughs> <laughs> How about one more? How about this one? Knock, knock. Who's there? Anne. Andy. Andy who? Andy. Music. Music. Go. Go. Goes on and one. And the music goes on and on. You get it? And the music goes on and on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> right. <clears throat> the Curious Garden by Peter Brown. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. However, there was only one, there was one boy who loved being outside, even on drizzly days, while everyone else stayed inside. You could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. 
It was on one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway as he did from time to time when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the tracks. The railway had stopped working ages ago. And since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wild flowers and plants were the last things he had expected to find up there. But when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Oh, do you think Liam's going to garden? Yeah! He's going to make a big, big garden, and other people's going to grow gardens everywhere. Let's see. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned, and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants patiently waited while Liam found better ways of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener, and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Levi, come here a minute. Okay. Tell everyone what beautiful plants your mother grows. Uh, nothing. Pretty much. In a nutshell. Yep. And only she <clears throat> grows vegetables that are like that tall. Yeah, my, my tomato plants are doing really yeah. well this year. Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up further and further down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the curious garden explored every corner of the railway. <clears throat> Look at Yeah, that is crazy. There we go. That. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on that, the city that season, and for the first time since he'd become a gardener, Liam could not visit the plants. <coughs> Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt, and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Looks like he got a new wheelbarrow and gardening tools for um, Christmas, I'll bet you. Winter had taken a toll on the garden, but thanks to Liam's planning, his handy new tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring, it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up further and further from the railway and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. Others mysteriously popped up all at once. But the most surprising things that popped up were the new gardeners. Look, they're all gardening now. Yay! <clears throat> oh, and they're having picnics. Levi, what are these animals? Giraffe. Let's see in the front. Giraffe. Elephant. Elephant. Oh. Uh, moose. What did you think this one was? A camel. <laughs> Many years later, the entire city had blossomed, but all of all the new gardeners, Liam's favorite was where it all began. Look how don't worry. Look how pretty. Levi's being funny with his smiley faces. Mm. The end. All right, 
so in this week's craft bag, we're going to have fairy garden supplies. And we are going to have a flower made out of bottle caps. You can pick those up on Monday. Monday the 20... The 30th. 20th. Monday, July 20th. All right. Oh, Miss Flora. Yeah. Come here. It's your turn. <clears throat> Miss Flora is going to join us. It's crazy. We don't know how to do it. <laughs> Miss <what> <laughs> Jen is still having trouble with this. <laughs> That's pretty sure. I like that. It Thank goes you. with our theme. The garden, the flowers. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Did you tell them what happened the first time? I didn't. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. We had everything recorded. It was great. Really good show. And then we realized that we had it in speed mode. So, so we were like, oh. <laughs> it was quite humorous, really. Hey, really yeah. good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this. Okay. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! And we have to do all three. No! Oh, yes. And mommy right. has such a hard time with this. Okay. If you're happy and you, and you know, know it, clap your three. hands. Whoops. Hooray! Right, if up. you're happy and you know no. it, do all, all three. three. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> we got it, we got it. Oh, I love it. I did. You did good. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, thank you, everyone, for yes, joining thank us. thank you. We love, we love you. you. And we will see you <laughs> July 20th, which is Monday for Fairy Garden Craft Bags. All right. Bye! Bye. <laughs>